Hello everyone, welcome back to my new episode on Excel Tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create cascaded validation dropdown in Excel. Basically I am going to create this cascaded validation dropdown in Excel. I have a simple Excel sheet to check the assigned doctor names for the particular day. For example if I choose Monday the assigned doctor's name will be shown in the assigned doctor column. Here you can see the list of assigned doctors for the Monday, also if I select Tuesday the assigned doctor cell becomes red, it means the shown doctor should not be assigned for Tuesday, and have to choose the assigned doctor from the drop down and so on. Let's start to create this Excel sheet. To develop this sheet, we need to define the primary list and secondary list. The primary list will be the weekdays and the doctor's names list will be the secondary list. Let's start with the primary list. For this we need to create a separate table for the assigned doctors for particular days, which is from Monday to Friday. I have created a table with assigned doctor names for the particular day. Next, I will create a drop-down list to select the day which is our primary list. Before that I will define a name for the weekdays, to do this, go to formula tab, and choose name manager option. The name manager window appears to select new button. First enter the name that you want to define. Here, I will enter like weekdays. Then select the scope of the name where this name should be referenced. Here I will choose the workbook. Next, I will select my weekdays to be listed in the drop-down. And hit OK. Next I will select the cell where I want to create a drop-down list. Then go to the data tab and click the data validation option. Here choose the list option for the to allow option, then enter the defined name for the source, which is equal weekdays. Now you can see I can easily choose the weekdays from the drop-down list. Next, the secondary list will be the trickiest one, to return the assigned doctor names for the specific day. Before we start let's define the name for each weekday columns for the assigned doctors table. As we did earlier, go to the name manager and create a new name, first I will define the name as of Monday. In order to create dynamic ranges I will use the offset formula for this. The Excel offset function returns, a reference to a range constructed in parts. A starting point, a row and column offset, and a final height and width in rows and columns. Hence, equal, offset. Open bracket, first I need the starting point. For this, I will select E3, comma, next rows, and column will be 0 because I want to create dynamic ranges. Next, the height will our drop down list selection so I will use counter function for this. So, counter, open bracket then I will select the entire column, so I will enter E, colon, E, then closed bracket, minus 2, since I have to deduct the top two rows which I don't need in my drop down list. Next the width will be 1 because I need only a single column. Then hit OK. In the same way, we have to define the dynamic name ranges for other weekdays as well. OK, we are ready to create the secondary dynamic list, as we did earlier select the cell where do you want to define the list, then go to the data tab, and choose data validation. For the source I will use the choose formula, the excel choose function returns a value from a list using a given position or index. Hence the formula will be, equal, choose, open bracket, then index num, to define the index num, I will use match function, where match is an excel function used to locate the position of a lookup value in a row, column, or table. So, match, open bracket, then lookup value, will be B3. Next lookup array is the weekdays with an exact match.
Next the value for the defined index will be the column name, which is Monday to Friday. Cool. Now we have done with our secondary list. Let us check the output. Once you have picked up the day, the respective doctor's names are listed here. But, you may change your mind and pick up another day. This will violate the day to integrity, as the name would not correspond with the selected day anymore. Hence we will use conditional format formula to recognize the violations, so, select the cell where do you want to define the conditional formula then click conditional formatting option from the home tab, and choose a new rule. Then select the rule type as, used by formula to determine which cells to format. What I need here when I choose the wrong doctor's name the cell's background color should change to red color. So first I will set the format to red color. Next, we will set the formula to match the picked doctor's name against the assigned doctor's names. So I will use the match function again. So equal, match, open bracket. Next my lookup value will be C3, next to the lookup array will be like my secondary list formula, so, match, open bracket, then lookup value, will be B3, next lookup array is the weekdays with an exact match. Next the value for the defined index will be the column name, which is Monday to Friday. Then hit OK. Let's check now the output, I will pick a day, and select a doctor name. Now you can see when I choose a correct doctor name, the cell background becomes red but, I need the opposite, so I have to edit the formula where, if the doctor's name not found from the assigned name list return red color. In order to do this, I will just add is an A function, where this function returns true when a cell contains the hash n slash A error and false for any other value, or any other error type. Go to conditional formatting and edit the formula by clicking manage rules and, select the conditional format and click edit rules. Now just add is an A, function, and hit OK. Now you can see the format has been changed. But, even if I delete the doctor's name still the red color is existing, so I will adjust the formula again by adding and function to consider the blank cells as well. So I will just add and, open bracket, then len, c3, close bracket, comma, then complete the entire formula by adding close bracket at the end. Now we have completed our Excel sheet and you can download the tutorial Excel template from the link in the description. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next week. Please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.